Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture in Microsoft Word 2013. Uh, in today's lecture we will look at uh, uh, new features in the Microsoft Word 2013 application. We will look on how to uh, modify a paragraph, how to use indentation, how to use tab stop, how to uh, insert some objects inside your uh, document and we will look also at many advanced uh, items that we uh, will cover uh, in this uh, lecture. Uh, we cover the basics so uh, at this point of time all of you should be able to uh, open Microsoft Word, should be able to add some text to the uh, document and should be able to save and open uh, a document and change the application uh, settings. So to get started with uh, today's lecture we need to open the application. You can open it from the uh, Metro view using the Word 2013 tile or you can uh, open it by uh, searching for WORD even if you are in the Metro view and type o -W -O -R -D, uh, the name of the application will pop up. Uh, also you can uh, uh, type Word from Windows 7 if you click on start and then uh, type word and then choose the name of the application so our application is Word 2003 so what do we need to do we need to open a blank document so at this point of time we have a blank document that we need to look at uh, new features in the application. Uh, looking at what we have right now, uh, this is called the ruler. This part here on the upper section of the document is called the ruler. And this part here on the left side of the application is also called the, the ruler. So this is the horizontal ruler, ruler and this is the vertical uh, ruler. Okay, now to display and hide the ruler, if you go to view, you can check ruler or uncheck it. If you uncheck it, the ruler disappears. If you check it, the ruler appears. So sometimes you really don't need the ruler, but sometimes you do. So if you do need the ruler, you go to view and then click on uh, ruler. Uh, if you have your ruler open and you are in the home tab, uh, now let's say I would like to uh, start typing. Uh, this is a test for example, alright? And now I need to uh, press tab. Okay, let's show formatting. Show formatting, tab again, tab again. So do you see the size of tab when I press tab? It moves like almost half an inch. As you can see here, for each tab press, it moves half an, half an inch to the right side. So let's control Z to undo that and start using the ruler. There is something on the ruler that is called the tab uh, stop. So now let's say I would like to change the location or the size of my tab stop. Instead of using half an inch, I would like to make it, for example, uh, five inches. Look at the ruler on top of here. Uh, in the ruler, please be very careful because uh, in the uh, new Word 2013, if you click on the upper section of the ruler, nothing happened. You need to click below the dots. Do you see these dots here? If you see these dots and you need to uh, put a tab stop at uh, marker or inch number five, Look, now it's working. So what is the uh, shape that just got placed on top of my ruler? This is called the left tab. Left tab stop. So now if I press tab, look what happened. Now when I type this is a test, right? Do you see what is happening? So if you need to start typing from a specific location inside your documents, now when I press enter and press tab again, it aligns at that specific location. So again, this is a test, right? And uh, I got exactly what I needed. Uh, press enter again, tab again, so now you got the point. 
uh, are we good on this one? Uh, looking at this square here, do you see this square uh, on the ruler on the left side? If you click on it once, it tells you that, that this is center tab. Now this is right tab. You click on it again, this is decimal tab. You click on it again and this is bar tab. One more time, and this is first line and then. So you can change uh, the tab that appears when you click by using the specific tab stop that you need. Uh, we will focus on the uh, left tab, but if you would like to change it in the future, you know how to change it and where do you change it from. So let's go ahead and delete that and try to do something else. Now, when I press tab, it goes to inch marker number five, right? So what if I need to get rid of that? What if I, I need to avoid going to inch marker number five? How do I remove my tab stop? So if you click on the tab stop and drag it down, now, you got rid of the customized tab and it is back to its default tab size which is half an inch. If I press tab again, look what's happening. Do you see? Now you know why we uh, use the show height format because it shows you exactly what is going on inside your document. So now are we good on using the tab stop? So look, let's look if I change, uh, just for a demo, if I change to center tab look if I uh, press for example somewhere and then start typing this is a test do you see what is happening right if I press enter and then tab again it goes exactly to the center location again this is a test do you see what is happening all right now what if I need to uh, remove this tab stop you click here and drag down and that will uh, remove the tab stop. Let's go ahead and uh, control A to select everything and then press delete and that will delete the entire text uh, from my uh, documents. We covered before how to copy, cut, paste, uh, format uh, the, uh, the quick access toolbar, how to close the application, how to close the uh, document only and leave the application open. Uh, also, we covered how to make a text bold, italic, so uh, let's have some text uh, equals R-A-N-E-D and then open close parentheses and then press enter. Now I have some text. I don't need to show the format for now. Now I have uh, a, 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 some paragraphs inside my uh, documents. All right, so now let's go ahead and select the first paragraph. Once I select the first paragraph, please pay attention to this triangle here. This is called the first line indent. The one below it is called the hanging indent. The one below it is called the left indent. So what do I use these for? So if I click and drag half an inch, look what is happening. So this happened only to the selected paragraph, right? What if I need to do that? Let's undo control Z and then control A to select the entire document. And let's do all of that to all of my paragraphs. Let's say I would like to make the first line of each paragraph uh, uh, gets in, indented for half an inch. You select the entire page with all paragraphs and then you change the first line uh, indentation. Right? What if I would like to change that and use the hanging indentation? I can do that. I can do it this way. Control Z to undo. What if I need to make all paragraphs with first line and hanging uh, lines to shift half an inch? You do it the way I just did it. What if you, you need to do it from the right side? Here. You, 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 do you see what is happening? Do you see what is happening? So now you uh, are good at doing uh, that and you do that from the uh, ruler. Also you can uh, do that from uh, if you click on the home tab under the paragraph uh, group you can uh, click here increase indentation or uh, decrease indentation you can change the orientation of your text from right to left or from left to right all right so you, so you have some icons to help you uh, with that all right now now let's go ahead and uh, demo something else let's say i have a uh, text and below text I have a uh, hello. Let's say I would like to sort that in ascending order, right? So you have sorting here. If I click on it, 
and then uh, choose ascending okay now H is before T in the alphabetical order that's why hello will appear before text uh, sometimes you need or before test sorry uh, sometimes you will need to do that from uh, time to time control Z to uh, go back to uh, our original uh, paragraphs so now we know how to use the tab stop we know how to use the uh, indentation uh, and we uh, know how to uh, change the paragraph uh, settings uh, sometimes you will need to remove the lines let's let's look when I select the entire documents and then go choose here no spacing look what happened so I choose no spacing okay now I don't have any spacing in my uh, paragraphs let's go here under the under the home tab paragraph group and then click on the line spacing and then make it two make it three make it do you see what is happening and guess what it's doing it to the paragraph that I have the cursor inside it what if I uh, select the entire uh, document and then go to line spacing look what is happening now it is applying that to the entire documents okay uh, you can change lying spacing add space before and after paragraph look what is happening do you see do you see it all right so uh, if you would like to change the line spacing in the future you know how to do that you can even uh, change the uh, background color of your text all right so this is to change the background color as you can see you can choose any color of your choice however if i ask you for a specific color if you uh, hover on the actual color name it tells you the name of that color the standard uh, color uh, themes or format you will see it under the standard color no color no color more colors and now you can choose a specific uh, color based on uh, the color that you see or you can choose custom color and specify your own uh, color so this is easy and uh, we don't want to spend uh, a lot of time uh, covering it so I will go ahead and delete everything from my documents now I have uh, one uh, line I have line number two and then line number three uh, bullets are important so if you need to insert some bullets to have a list inside of your document you select the text and then you choose a bullet right you can choose the down arrow to choose to change the uh, shape of your bullet look look when i uh, move here right or you can change even the list of your bullet as you can uh, see here uh, however let's say i have number one here and then i press enter and then look when i press tab below number one Did you see what happened? It made the line below it a uh, sub bullet of number one, right? So going back to uh, home tab, and then let's look at uh, one more thing. I will uh, if I will type here first, right, and then enter. Let's say I would like to put sub bullet of first. Guess what do I need to do? Tab again. So what if I need to go back? Shift the tab. You press shift and keep holding and then press tab. Shift tab again. That will take you to the uh, first level. First level of your bullet. Alright? So now I promoted my bullet. If I need to denote my uh, demote, demote my bullet, tab. Promote, shift tab. Promote it to the first level. Demote right sub bullet so now you know how to create a sub bullet and take it back to the main bullet all right so now uh, let's see what we have to cover here i will go ahead and select uh, all of that let's say i would like to change this to uh, what you see here see look level and sub level you can choose that to any of your choice based on the format that you can uh, see all right what if i need to put uh, numbers you can uh, change that to numbers also you can uh, choose the uh, uh, number uh, alignment right you can uh, choose the number align alignment left and you can choose any format of your choice based on what you see under the uh, number uh, numbering icon so for bullets you can choose bullets you can choose numbering you can choose multi uh, level list you know how to increase and decrease the line spacing between uh, paragraphs right you know how to add uh, some uh, uh, shading to the text 
also you know how to choose the uh, bottom border so bottom border if you uh, click on it immediately as you see here it adds a bottom border click on it again it removes it what if I need to change the uh, line uh, border to appear from all sides look when I choose here all borders right no borders right border left border top bottom right inside you see that usually when you select multi multi lines right and uh, this is basically uh, uh, if you need to add border around text or you can go to border and shading uh, and change the settings but we will have uh, a special section to cover this part because it's just too uh, comprehensive and I would like uh, first to cover the uh, home tab in general and then we will go into specific uh, details so now uh, we almost cover the paragraph uh, you will notice that beside each group like if you look here I have the clipboard I have a small arrow pointing down to the uh, uh, bottom right corner of the screen font same thing so if you get if you need to get the settings the all settings for each group you can click on this uh, box here it's called the launch box because once you click on it the launch dialog box it opens a new dialog box it launch a new dialog, dialog box so from now on if you need to make uh, changes and look when I open paragraph guess what we covered here we covered uh, left align, right center align, align, right align justified and we increase and decrease the line spacing we use the uh, ruler to uh, change the indentation first level hanging indentation and then uh, left uh, align if you click on this launch box here it will take you to the same place and it even tells you here that I have hanging indentation look if I uh, if I remove the indentation I will make it zero and then I will make this zero and then I will change the spacing to zero as well and then click OK look what happened it removed all of the uh, spacing that I added so going back to the launch box from the launch box here uh, let's have some uh, text so you can see exactly what is happening so again equals R A N E D open close parentheses and then press enter that will give me some text so I can start working uh, with it so now if I select this entire uh, text and then go to the launch box for the paragraph group and then click on a special uh, first line half an inch guess what is happening here I am applying indentation to the first line by using half an inch look when I click OK now same thing as I did with the ruler so you can do the same thing from different places right so let's undo that and look at one more thing launch box again and uh, I can change the indentation uh, 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 after text for example or before text look, look when I uh, change look what is happening here in this box watch this box as I increase look right let's decrease so at least now you know what is uh, happening right let's make it zero let's do the second one look let's look what happened here let's look what is happening it does it from the uh, right look and when I click OK look what happened same thing I did from the ruler ruler I can do it from the launch box let's undo that and then go to the paragraph and then spacing uh, now uh, spacing uh, before let's say I choose uh, let's see what do you see what is happening it adds space before each paragraph let's undo that and then go to the launch box for the paragraph group uh, I, I, I guess now you have an idea of why do you need to use that let's change the line spacing uh, let's say I would, I would like to choose double okay so someone can tell me okay didn't we do that from another place yes we did it from here from this icon because in the paragraph group you have uh, common commands in here and if you need to get into uh, the advanced section of all of these commands you can open the launch box and that will show up the line and page break indents and spacing uh, also you can look at tabs look when I click on tabs you can even access uh, more options for the tab stop let's click cancel and let's because we cover the tab let's look at uh, tabs uh, so I will uh, type uh, price right 
or uh, let's say I would like to go to the store buy some uh, products and I would like to uh, type the name of each item I need to buy and the price for um, each item so let's say I, I need to buy uh, uh, milk for example I need to buy some uh, eggs right and then I need to buy uh, let's say what else uh, I need to uh, buy uh, let's say uh, uh, milk, eggs, and what else? What do what do you usually buy from the store when you go to the store? So I will just put meat, for example. All right. So I have milk, eggs, and meat. Uh, so I need to put the price for uh, uh, milk. Uh, what is the gallon of milk? What is the cost of one gallon of milk? Let's say. Uh, four dollars so I will put four dollars right then I will go for eggs here uh, what is the cost for uh, a box of dozen eggs let's say uh, three dollars right uh, let's be more specific we will even or do you know what let's just put it three and then uh, the dollar sign uh, meat uh, let's say uh, eight dollars right so now what if I select that select this entire text uh, now but before I do anything let's show the format first right and then go uh, I need to s separate the price from the actual product name look when I press tab let's go back here look when I press tab let's go back here L let's look this is not uh, exactly what you need to do to separate the price from the product is there a better way yes there is a better way how do we separate the price from the actual product name so you select the entire uh, part that you would like to apply uh, a special tab stop and then go to the launch box for the paragraph all right and then click on tabs now where is the position of your tab stop let's say i would like to apply the position at uh, let's say uh, five inches right and then uh, that's the new uh, position that I would like to uh, add and then it says here uh, default tab stops half an inch now you, re you remember right so the alignment will be left yes it will be left do you need to have to add some uh, like uh, leader leader it's like basically a line of dots to point from one product to one price so you can keep track of the price and the product name so let's say I will choose number two right and then I will uh, click on set do you see what happened so now I set a tab stop at position or at inch number five and the alignment is left and I have a tab leader of these dots here let's click OK now let's go to uh, the actual price and then press tab. Do you see what is happening? Isn't it cool? Look, tab, tab again, and then tab again. I think this is a very nice uh, way to uh, change the tab stop. So please, please make sure that you uh, practice doing that again. If you uh, right click on the text, and then uh, choose a paragraph right and then uh, click on tabs same place so someone can do it this way someone can go to the launch box here and then click on uh, tabs right uh, by the way sometimes in the future you will need to set the uh, some specific uh, feature as the default feature when you open Microsoft Word let's say I would like to have a special indentation for first line for each paragraph by let's say uh, half an inch so 0.5 if you click on set set as default that will make the uh, uh, special indentation 5 inch as the default action every time you open your document so please keep that in mind set as default all right same thing with font so let's say I have 
some text here equals or a n d and then open close uh, parentheses and then press enter now let's select this entire text and then once i select the entire text let's go to font here D guess what font do i have now i have this font right if i click on the uh, launch box for font i can uh, choose a different let's say uh, uh, i will choose uh, a font that's called cambria for example look when i click on set as default it will tell you it will tell me would you like to set the new font for this document or all documents based on the uh, normal template which is the template that opens immediately once you open uh, microsoft word if i choose the second one every time i open my application i will see that font applied all right or i can uh, apply it for this current document only if i click ok now look at the font right now this font will be always applied inside this document if i need to remove the format i can remove the format but it's not affecting why because i already changed the default font right so now if i uh, put the font as it was before which is uh, body and then uh, set as default and then click ok now if i try to change the font to Cambria from here right and then if I remove a format it will remove the format and it will uh, set it to the default font how do you set a default font you already know how to set the default font you choose the font that you need from here and then set as default right uh, text effect I, I need to choose a font that is called uh, one second here if I go to text effect it is uh, no one second and here advanced it's called open type font so let's uh, choose a font from here that's called gabriel for example gabriel right so do you see this one this is a nice cool font that i really like to use uh, in this font here look what i can do with this font this is a special uh, font that i can apply special effects uh, to it if i go to the launch box for my fonts right by default the font uh, group or tab is open i can uh, apply strike look i can apply double strike super script subscript small cap all caps hidden so now you see uh, what you can do you can underline style you can apply underline and you can choose a different underline uh, text from here font color you can choose the font color as well or you can do it from outside here you can uh, go to the actual uh, text color here and uh, change uh, the color uh, again i choose a font that's called gabriola this is called open type font that i can apply special effect how do you access the special effect look when i go to the launch box for my font and then click on advanced and then style is stylistic uh, sets and then it choose for example number uh, six look when i click ok do you see what is happening isn't it isn't isn't it cool to 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 have a font like that you are a professional now you can create a professional look when i make it bigger you can create a professional document here with a cur cursive writing in no time in no time so again undo that to go to the original uh, font that I had from before uh, I will delete that equals R A N D and then open close parentheses to have some text so I can apply uh, more effects uh, to my uh, documents so by looking here uh, look at what I can do if I select the entire text do you see this here I can make all in uppercase click on it again all in lowercase click it uh, on it again sentence case click on it again capitalize each word so sometimes you will need to do that toggle case sentence case this is just nice so now we are done let's say you have a number control a and you have uh, you are going to take for example create a function or a formula let's say i would like to uh, uh, two and then uh, get the power of any value for example so if i type 2 and then press on this icon here this icon will apply the super script right 
and then even uh, the keyboard shortcut if you hover on it it will tell you if you press control shift plus plus that will allow you to look what, what I do, can I do here so you can uh, add superscript text to the actual uh, value or you can apply subscript so if I put number three for example and then click here look when I when I start typing again so now if I need to strike this here I can as well let's undo that and go back to the uh, actual uh, text right again this is the uh, nice text effect it's called the text effect look when I hover on it text effect right you can apply very nice text effect here and you can choose uh, different shadow you can choose the reflection so I will leave that to you to uh, practice and uh, even stylistic sets you can uh, apply from here for the text uh, I'm wondering let's do that and then go to Gabriola again so I will choose Gabriola right and then uh, come back here to the text effect and then I will go to style, stylistic sets and now look look what you can get you don't even have to dig into the font launch box and do it you can uh, choose a predefined sets immediately from here so I think that is nice to have for the uh, text uh, if you need to highlight for example let's say this word do you know how uh, how do I uh, choose or, se or select one word double click on the word and then highlight it highlights this word so now you know how to use highlighter how to apply text effect how to remove format right let's see uh, when I remove format if you need to remove the highlight again you, you press on it one more time that will remove the highlight all right if you need to change the font color again you have a font color click on it or you can choose the, the click on the down arrow and then it choose automatic and that will apply to the automatic uh, style so now you have seen what we can do for the font group if I go back to font group please make sure that you look into that uh, there are items that you might use all the time other uh, items that you will never touch so based on your need you go here and look if you understand the basic you should be able to uh, uh, do anything you want in here for the paragraph now we know how to change anything in relation to, para to the paragraph right either uh, you uh, go to the lunch box and then change indentation and change line spacing and change uh, uh, the line and page breaks right uh, look when I uh, go to this uh, place here and then press enter that gives me one line if I press control enter that gave me uh, gives me a page break what is a page break look look back up here look what happened it added a page break it adds a break after that uh, paragraph and then it keeps that in a page by itself and puts everything in a new uh, page all right let's undo that undo again do I have any uh, any grammar mistakes in these documents again uh, look at this here I have problem I have some errors so if you see this X on top of the book it means that you have some errors let's control a and then uh, add the text from scratch again or a n d and then open close parentheses now do i have any grammar errors look if you see a check mark on the book it means that you don't have any grammar error in this uh, uh, document so let's say for example i uh, have some uh, t uh, text here uh, let's make a mistake you type something random and then space look what happened it added a red curly red curly line below the text that means that I have spelling error if you have a grammar error you will have a green uh, uh, color if you have let's say for example I put here uh, hello and then uh, start typing something else look the one that has spelling error I have a color in red the one that has uh, for example uh, capitalization uh, if you right click on it it will tell you uh, it will give you a recommendation right if you right click on it again it tells you that H should be capital because it is in the first sentence again if you right click on this text here if it has recommendation it will tell you if it doesn't 
for example, let's say, look, go back here, outer, for example. Now you know how to fix it. Or you can go to the review tab and then check grammar and spelling and that will take you spell by uh, step by step throughout your document. You can ignore, you can change, right? So if I click on ignore, it will ignore and then it tells me that I completed and now uh, I don't have any uh, errors. I can go here and delete the one that has uh, the mistake. So going back to my home tab, so uh, are we good in this one? Uh, you know how to apply the styles again if you need to apply styles uh, first please make sure that you select the text and then uh, choose the style that you prefer look every time I hover on each one it applies a different style so keep that in mind uh, usually heading if you have a line for heading you apply heading 1 and that keeps track of the heading in, in your document heading 2 right so keep that in mind as you are working with your document that you can apply different styles. Let's say I, I need to find uh, lock, the word lock from my document. You can click on uh, find and then I will search for look what happened. Uh, if you are using older word version, it will display a dialog box similar to this one here, but it will be in the middle of the screen. It's like uh, a pop-up uh, message and then you type what you are looking for. For example, let's say I need to look for look. And then once I press enter, it tells me that it highlighted the word and if I need to find the page, I click on pages to find the page, again result, I can even change. For example, if I need to search for uh, graphic, table, equation, footnotes, uh, comments, I can uh, change the place where I need to search for uh, that specific location, I can even replace with. So this is the dialog box I was talking about. So look, I need to replace it with uh, any word of your choice. For example, uh, C, right? And then once I click on replace, it will replace this word. Uh, if I uh, click on replace all, it will replace all instance of this. Uh, uh, and then it says one was made and then close. So now look, C, uh, it's not... <coughs> excuse me, it's not uh, look anymore, it is uh, C. So uh, here you have <coughs> you have uh, find and you have a replace. Advanced find, you can click on it and then you can even look for advanced uh, options, write what you find, more, you can even match case. For example, if it is you need to only find a C that has capital S, for example, and then click match case and then it ch it change the look, uh, orientation or the direction. You can. Uh, you can use wild card. Uh, wild card basically is if you put an asterisk, for example, here, this will uh, look for any word that has S E E at the beginning and then any, uh, any character uh, after that or any letters after that. So again, if you need to replace, you can click on replace and then uh, type the word and the replacement and you can even uh, change the options for your uh, search. So going back here, do we feel better about Microsoft Word? So now we are in a good stage using the home tab. So as we progress in our lecture, I will make sure for each item that we cover uh, each tab step by step. But before I end, uh, let's let's look here. The clipboard group, we are good at it. We we are professionals. Uh, font group, we uh, covered almost everything in uh, in fonts. The paragraph, it cannot get better than that. Uh, right now, styles. Here, if you click on this down arrow, you look at all of the styles. You can even create your own style. You can apply styles, right? And this basically will open a pop-up here and if you click on the down arrow, it will display basically the items that you see uh, up here. You can find, you can replace, you can select. The one thing that we uh, skipped over quickly is the border, right? So basically here you see what you can do with uh, borders. If you go to border and shading, you can uh, change these settings here step by step for example let's say i would like to add uh, i will cancel here and i will select this entire paragraph and then i will go to uh, the down arrow beside border and then i will choose 
uh, border and shading right now do you see this here it says none if I choose box look this is a preview I can even specify if I need to display the border or not shadow border so now we know how to display a shadow border it change the uh, sh the line effect 3d border right and make it steady line you can even change the color of your uh, border let's make it a little bit darker so you can see it you can even change the actual width right and you can apply that to the text or the paragraph right you can uh, even uh, change and choose a custom border so now you are uh, let's say I need to change that and apply a page border so something you can apply to the text and something that you can apply to the actual page uh, box for example or shadow or uh, 3d I can even scroll down here and choose something or I can even choose art look when I choose art here I can add this one click OK look at my document now very nice easy right and we'll come back to uh, borders here because if I go to insert you will uh, uh, find out uh, or if I go to uh, design uh, the page border I will uh, touch base the page border again one more time uh, I think we are in a good stage at this point thank you everyone for uh, watching and uh, we covered very nice cool features throughout this lecture today home tab so we are good with the home tab, aren't we? Thank you and I will see you in the future.